Hello and welcome to a Tuesday Open House virtual meal as we celebrate the Life Ericsson Festival. My name is Joran Radom, Jorun Radum, and today I will show you how to make thin beef. It's a popular and very tasty beef stew made from reindeer shavings. You can buy pre-cut frozen reindeer meat in most grocery stores in Norway. I could not find it here in the Twin Cities, so today I have substituted with a regular flank steak, which will not taste quite the same, not so much a game, but still it will be very good. First, slice the meat in very fine one by one inch pieces. This will be much easier to do if the meat is almost frozen. Cut the onion. Uh, in uh, Norway this red onion is the most expensive. Here I found it to be the cheapest. Any kind will do. Cut the bacon in small pieces and the mushrooms in good boat shaped chunks. some butter in the pan and then I fry the bacon first and then add the mushrooms that way they soak up all that good bacon flavor. When you find it fried well enough add the onions and let cook until soft and shiny. Now um, add some more butter and fry the meat preferably on high heat so that you get that fine brown crust. When the meat is fried, mix everything together and add water. Then add crushed juniper berries. I got these at Amazon and then add the thyme plus salt and pepper to taste. I actually found it necessary to add twice as much of the spices as the recipe specified. Don't be afraid to go a bit bold on this. The recipe says to add some slices of goat cheese. You might have this in your refrigerator, but if not, you could get some lingonberry jam and use that as your sweetener instead. That's what I did, and that tastes very nice on the side with the dish also. Let it all simmer until the meat is tender. With a flank steak, this might take a couple of hours. If, if you have finer meat, finer beef, uh, much shorter if you like. While you wait, you might want to boil potatoes or make mashed potatoes as today's recipe suggests. When the meat seems ready, add the milk. Let it's come to a boil and then you add the sour cream and it's a good idea not to let it boil after this point then you might avoid the separation of the cream from the rest of the dish well it's not like it's gonna run away but <laughs> when the cream separates then it doesn't look quite as good although the taste is quite the same ready to serve go appetit